Hey guys! So today's video is a little bit different than videos pretty much that I've ever put out. I guess I've done some like haul videos before, but never letting you this much into my weird YouTube niche viewing. So one thing that I have been obsessed with for quite some time now is Dollar Tree hauls. I could watch Dollar Tree hauls until I die and I would be just happy. Like forget Amberlynn Reed, forget Chantel. <laughs> I was like, who else do I watch? I'm so obsessed with Amberlynn Reed. She's all I watch. No, I love Dollar Tree hauls. And in particular, today I'm collabing with my girl Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom. Yes, you heard that right. Fifty Shades of Mom. Best channel name ever. Get into it. Get into this fantasy. But yes, I'm collabing with Kira, queen of Dollar Tree hauls. Well, maybe not queen. There's a lot of people who do Dollar Tree hauls, but she's my queen. I am obsessed with her, and she's actually a part of a larger group of what I call the Dollar Tree Mom Squad. Yes, you heard that right. I talk about these folks out loud with my boyfriend and he thinks I'm cray, but I am obsessed with the Dollar Tree Mom Squad. I consider these folks to be Fifty Shades of Mom, Lemonade Mom, and Nicole Burgess, so I'll link all of them down below, but this in particular is with my girl Kira, and she's got a video over on her channel, so I'll put something up in the iCards maybe, or I'll put it down below, or just, you will be able to find it. And listen, She's not like Amber Lynn Reed, she's not like Chantel, she's not like Amy Slayton, she's not like these other folks I'd be making videos about. She has her life together, which is why I've been very cautious to even make this video because I really have all the love in the world for her. So be kind to her, let her know that if you go watch her video that I sent you there. But she just slays me. She has like an insane obsession with Fifty Shades of Grey, which I don't, I've never read the books, I've never watched the movies, but she throws like parties around it. Obviously the name of her channel is is inspired by it. And I'm like, yes, I stand a queen who stands whatever she loves, right? So stand her for that, love her for that. She's great. So I don't know. I just really enjoy her. I started talking to her via Instagram and she has just become like a fun little pal. She gets my humor. I get I get her humor, her interests. She also does a lot of other things like grocery hauls, she does cleaning videos, she does like what I made my kids for a whole month or something like that for lunch videos. So you need to go watch her. She's great. She is funny. I hope you'll enjoy her. And if you don't, well, get over it. This is my channel. I'm just making content that I love, which sometimes, yes, includes reaction videos to Amberlynn, and sometimes that means I do Dollar Tree also. Now, let's get into this haul, because, y'all, I had maybe been in a Dollar Tree before, but certainly no time recently, and wow, it was quite the experience, and my haul is not that big, so I do just want to warn you there. It's like 10 items, maybe. It's really just more about the experience, and I wish I would have filmed my experience in the store, because there's just so much to look at, and I'm like, y'all, this is, this is a lot, but we're gonna jump into it, and then I think at the end I'll tell you about like some things I was hoping to find, but I didn't, and we'll get into that then. So, the first thing I got was inspired by our girl Amberlynn Reed and her girlfriend Becky, and I just thought, why not get an adult coloring book? I mean, it's a dollar, and I feel like this could be fun. So look at all these mandalas that I can color, and you might be wondering, girl, what are you gonna color that with? Good question. That's why. I got Crayola. Shut up, Dollar Tree. That's what that's what all the Dollar Tree mom squad says. They're like, whenever they find something that they love, they're like, shut up, Dollar Tree. But no, like Crayola crayons, like they are not usually a dollar, are they? I don't know, girl. I can't remember the last time I bought a pack of Crayola crayons, but how great if like you have kids that are going to school and you need to get these for school supplies. Like these are quality. This isn't that rose art nonsense. This isn't rose art. My next two items are really the same item, but I got two and that is these socks. So most of you know, um, maybe you don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't know that about my life, but I have like a nine to five job where I have to dress professionally and have to look cute and wear a nice thing. So I got some dress socks. I'm like, 
Girl, I can always use more socks, you know. I don't know if these are gonna be like long lasting, but for a dollar, why not? And blue is really my aesthetic, so this is like a nice light blue and navy blue stripe. This one is like gray and blue, and there's a little bit of purple in there. So yes, you better get into this professional dress sock fantasy. Another thing I got was just these like Brillo pads. I don't know, I just needed new new things to wash my dishes with. So I was like, wow, I think I usually get like a pack of four from Target and I'm sure it's more than a dollar. This is three for a dollar. So I feel like that is quite a steal. And it's not Kira that talks about Brillo as a brand in general, but Lemonade Mom, she doesn't do the dishes, just in case you're wondering. That's her husband's job, as it should be. You better be doing those dishes. <laughs> but he uses Brillo, I think, if I recall, from all of the Dollar Tree hauls of hers that I've watched, and they get them at the Dollar Tree. So, you know what, Vanessa? I'm trusting you, I'm trusting Mark. These better get my dishes clean. The next thing is just a pepper grinder. I need a new pepper. I love to be able to grind things on my own. It's a dollar. It says grinder, and so maybe like my gay insides were attracted to this because yeah, grinder, but you know, for a dollar, I'm gonna get this, get this and crack some pepper. You know what I'm saying? It's like simple as that. I also needed some new mouthwash and so I got some Reach Essentials Anti-Cavity Mouthwash. This was the only name brand mouthwash that I saw. Well, I did see some Close Up, which I don't know if that's a name brand or not, but my mom used to always buy Close Up toothpaste, but it's cinnamon flavored and I'm like, I don't know that I'm trying to mouthwash with cinnamon. You know, like, we're not trying to do the cinnamon challenge. So, I got it, it's an Arctic Mint. It freshens breath, strengthens teeth, prevents cavities, cleans mouth, fights, fights acid wear, and it's alcohol free. So I'm about that. While we're talking about bathroom, toothpaste, mouthwash stuff, I realize I'm not really an adult because I don't have a, like an official place to put my toothbrush. And now my boyfriend has a toothbrush at my apartment and so it's just like we need a place to put it. So I thought how fun would it be to get something. They had, this is just plastic, they had one that was like some type of, maybe not ceramic, but something that seemed a little bit more durable, but it didn't really go with my aesthetic where I felt like this clear look would go with my basic apartment. So I got this, be excited about it, I feel like this will be perfect for what I need it for. I also got these fun color, colored bandages <laughs> um, because I cut myself the other day right there. You probably can't see that. I don't know, maybe you can. But I cut myself the other day and I realized I didn't have any band-aids. So I'm like, why not get some band-aids? And this is 30 for a dollar. So I'm here for it. I'm down to clown, you know. Oh my gosh, I'm already to the last item in my haul. I told you, very small haul. So my first haul, I'm sorry if it's awful, I've never done this before. But the last thing I got is, you know, I had to get a candle. All of these moms be getting these candles and they just like swear by them. And so this one would be perfect for Nicole, but I'm keeping it for myself. They're always also getting each other gifts and I'm like, that is so cute. But I'm keeping this for myself. <laughs> Because I do like an occasional candle, but this would be perfect for her because it says follow your arrow and arrows are her thing. That's the thing about the Dollar Tree Mom Squad. They all have things like Lemonade Mom has lemons, Nicole has arrows and pineapples, I think, and Kira has anchors and unicorns. And then they have a friend named Amber who also likes anchors. So it's just like they all have these things and they're always like, oh my gosh. And I'm like trying to remember all of them. But Nicole is definitely arrows. But mostly when I was trying to find a candle, I like a candle that smells like a little bit of like of a rugged, attractive man. You know what I'm saying? And this is, this is in the scent patchouli pine. So it was the closest one I could get to something that smelled like a man, but I had to get it. I had to get a candle, at least one. Now it's all about like candles at the Dollar Tree are all about the cold sniff. Uh, I think that's what they call it, the cold sniff. And it does smell good on cold sniff. Now what we're gonna find out later, and I probably will never report back on, is what its throw is. And throw means like how far the scent goes. And there's also some things about like how the wick burns and things like that, but I don't really know about it. But 
I'm excited to have this and it's cute because this says follow me or arrow, whatever that means. So I did say I was going to talk about some things that I was hoping to find but couldn't. One of the things I was hoping I could find is these lemonade plates. Lemonade mom, Vanessa, she been looking for these plates. What y'all don't know is that this group of Dollar Tree mom squad, they went on a vacation together recently to Gulf Shores, Alabama. While there, they went to like six different Dollar Trees and she's been looking for these plates that have lemonades on them. And I think she found like two. So I was looking, couldn't find it. My second disappointment is that I needed some birthday cards for my nephews. Their birthday was like a month ago. I'm the worst uncle ever. And then my mom's birthday is this coming Friday. And then I have a friend whose birthday is on Friday as well. And so I, was, I walked in and one of the first things I saw was the, the cards. And it was great. There were so many cards, but then none of them had envelopes. And I was like, is this some weird Dollar Tree thing? Like y'all sell the cards, but not envelopes. I'm not buying a card if I don't get an envelope. So I just scratched that. I was like, not worth my time. I ain't got time. No. That was a disappointment. And there was one other thing. Oh, I was looking for some cobblestone bread. It has like onions on top of it because Kira makes copycat Arby's beef and cheddar sandwiches. And I was like, maybe if I can find this, I will also try it. But no go. They had like two things of bread in this whole store. And I was like, this is not not any of these, not none of this, can't do it. Wow, this was a crazy video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll also go send some love to my girl, Kira, Fifty Shades of Mom. I enjoy her so much and she's been very supportive of me and my YouTube channel. Our audiences are very different. I have no doubt about that but she always sends me very encouraging messages via Instagram. I really enjoy getting to know her, and so I hope you will all enjoy getting to know her as well. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me some likes, give me some comments, hit subscribe, hit the bell button. Let me know if you wanna see more Dollar Tree hauls or if you want me to talk more about my other like niche areas of YouTube that I'm obsessed with because you all think I just watch like Amberlynn, Reed, and Chantel, and I don't. So if you want to see more of that, let me know. I really appreciate all of your watching and things like that. Words are hard for me today, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!